All right, and uh, welcome back for the uh, next installment of Codename Iceman. So we're here at the briefing, finding out what our mission for the game is. And, uh, yeah, we're rescuing Richard Lloyd. Yeah, yeah, I don't want to hit enter here because it's one of those auto-forward things, and you know how it is. Uh, I'll skip the next one if I hit enter. So we'll just, uh... Slowly we read this, and uh, remember the number 134? He continues, You must make contact with a female agent who will be disguised as a Muslim. Uh, she looks a little familiar. You know, uh, disguising her as a Muslim might be hard. You must use the codename Iceman. She will ha have in her possession a map directing you, he elaborates. Yeah, she looks really familiar. I don't know where, I'm just getting this crazy sense of, uh, of deja vu here, for some reason. Next slide, please. The agent amplifies. From Pearl, you'll set a course heading of 30 degrees latitude and 170 degrees longitude. Not until reaching these coordinates will you unlock and review your orders. That's right, Snake. 30 degrees latitude and 170 degrees longitude. Next slide, please. Do, 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 do. Oh, there's the uh, submarine. The agent indicates, this is the USS Blackhawk. What separates this attack sub from the others is a device called the Electronic Noise Cancellation Transducer. The Electronic Noise Cancellation Transducer. That's right, Snake. The Electronic Noise Cancellation Transducer. The transducer is attached to the drive shaft where it picks up generated noise. It then feeds the noise through a computer which cancels it. This makes for much improved silent running. Silent running? I know that, uh, that movie. That was the one with the Jamaican bobsled team. Right? That's it for me, Westland, he concludes. I'll turn it back to General Braxton. Who, uh, once again blended kind of into the background there on his, uh, his chair. Whoa, there he is. Just one final thing before you go. Although you have completed submarine school, it'll be necessary for you to be checked out on a few control room systems while aboard the Black Hawk. All right. Uh, yeah, I think that's sort of going through the uh, manual once again and making sure you remember how all these things work. The system qualification will tell you to earn your gold dolphins, he adds. Ooh, I want my gold dolphins. Are, are they just giant, solid gold dolphins that uh, they'll put into your room? I, I, I hope so. I love dolphin statues, especially if they squirt water. Well, gentlemen, he says... That concludes this meeting. Remember, Westland, time is of the essence. Goodbye, and good luck to you. All right, so that's the end of the meeting. So let's have a look around here. Look at office. Okay, look at room. You see nothing special. Look at, I don't know what you'd call those things, uh, screens. <laughs> wow, they really didn't go through uh, many words here around. It's the briefing room. Look at picture. Okay, look at table. I'll stand up. Take envelope. Look at cup. It's just an ordinary coffee cup. Take cup. It's just an empty cup and it's of no use to you. Okay, fine. Look at flag. The American flag. Long may she wave. Take flag. Can't do that. Burn flag. I don't understand burn. Uh, set fire to flag? 
You've left me, left me responseless. Ah, jeez. Well, I guess that's it. So what's this? Black? Look. Ordinary table. Ooh, look again. It's not just an ordinary table, though. You know it's different because it's an ordinary table. Look. Black. Okay, look. Thing on wall. Ugh. All right. Uh, so, yeah. As I said, there's some horrible tragedies, so let me resave here. Uh, there we go. So now, if you remember, we had to give our ID to this guy, so we should probably get back. Talk to... Guard. Car's waiting, sir. Take ID. The guard quickly fumbles through his pockets and pulls out an ID and hands it to you. Now, the first time I remember playing through this game when I was a kid, I didn't uh, notice the an ID rather than your ID. So, look at ID. The, you look at the ID given to you by the guard. The name of the ID is Major, Major General Marcus J. Hood. Alright. Give ID to guard. The guard looks at the ID he gave you and realizes he's giving you the wrong one. The guard exchanges your ID for the one you have. Uh, I'm very sorry, sir, he says. Uh, report guard to authorities. Ah, jeez, I can't do anything. Let's see if there's anything in, the, uh, in garbage. Look, can. Look, chair. Government approved chair. Look, ashtray. Government approved ashtray. Look in ashtray. I don't think you're allowed smoking in government buildings anymore. Maybe in the Pentagon, who knows. Push button. You hear the whine of the elevator as it approaches. I don't want to. Here I am. Thank guard. It's nothing. Talk to guard. Have a nice day, sir. Alright, I will. Have a nice day, sir. I, I will. There's the Pentagon again. You get in your fancy limo and drive off. You board the plane for Pearl Harbor. After finding your seat, you settle back and drift into deep thought. Hmm. You begin to ponder the mission ahead of you. Unbelievable. You muse. The magnitude of this operation is overwhelming. As the big 747 soars westward at 480 knots, you continue in thought. It's amazing, you think. This one cowardly act of kidnapping, an ambassador has brought the... You know the president will not be uh, not back down on his promise to punish the perpetrators of this dastardly deed done dirt cheap. And you shudder to think what nightmare may come upon the human race should this mission fail. Wow, a whole lot of odds going on here. You know, the stakes are high. Uh, you carefully review the orders temporarily assigned you to the USS Blackhawk. Sometime later, the stewardess makes the announcement for all passengers to fasten their seatbelts in preparation for the descent. Oh, I guess we're here at Pearl Harbor. As the big 747 banks left into its landing pattern, you look down at a most spectacular view of, pure, of Pearl Harbor. Ah, Pearl Harbor. Why are you the only one on the plane? Oahu Air. Here we are at the airport. Look. Your driver, who will take you to the USS Blackhawk. Look, airport. Honolulu International Airport. Look, sign. See nothing special. Look, doors. Nothing special. Look, car. Your car, which will carry you to the USS Blackhawk. Look, driver. Talk to driver. I'm here to pick up Commander Westland, he says. Are you Commander Westland? Yes. May I see your orders, please? I'll show him the orders next time. Uh, that's it for now for this episode, so I'm just gonna save right here. Save as. Oh, I don't actually have one. Well, I'll just uh, save as uh, uh, 
sub 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 subway for now. All right, see you next time.